Hi, and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Being that I am not a morning person, I try to prepare everything for work the night before. My coffee, water, lunch bag are all ready for me, which makes it so easy for me to just grab and go. for you this was highly requested from a previous video that i did so i hope you guys all enjoy you could probably hear my morning voice and my puffy morning face but i wanted to wish everyone a very good morning now let's get prepping and i'll take you along on a day in my life so i just got into work and i'll check back with you when i'm out I'm back in the car, it is 1.15. I just got a phone call from um, my kid's camp that he's not feeling well. So I have to leave work and go get him. The life of a mommy. So I'm gonna go to the camp, pick him up, and uh, call his pediatrician and see what's going on. We went to see his pediatrician after I picked him up from camp. He ended up having an allergic reaction to some antibiotics that he was on, but thank God he was fine. Uh, we got home, I gave him some Benadryl to make him feel a little bit better. We then sat down to eat. He already had lunch in school, but I didn't eat anything yet. So I made myself a salad, which was really yummy and delicious while i was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch i found him resting in his bed i guess the benadryl started to take effect and he got a little bit drowsy so he ended up actually falling asleep for a little while and while he was sleeping i just tried to catch up on the things that i needed to do around the house i threw in a load of laundry which is a typical task that i do every day stay tuned by the way till the end of the video to see the laundry hack you guys are going to love it by four o'clock all the kids are back from camp they take out their towels and bathing suits and put them upstairs in front of the washer and while the kids are settling in i'm finishing up with some decorative pieces for the home giving my little guy some much needed cuddles as he's starting to get better thank god I savor these sweet moments while they still want to be cuddled by mommy because I know they go by so fast. As 5.30 rolls around, I start on dinner. Luckily tonight is leftover night, so all I have to do is heat up some food that I have made earlier. My little man is back for some more cuddles while the food is heating up. This channel is all about my Orthodox Jewish life and I share here Shabbat meal preps and holiday inspirations and general tips and tricks as a busy working mom on how to manage the many things that we have on our plates. And if you enjoy this kind of content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell to be made aware of when I'll be uploading next. I would love to have you a part of our prep family here on YouTube. I had some leftover bread that I didn't want to go to waste, so I sliced it up into croutons and I baked it for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Thankfully, my kids love their vegetables and I try my best to incorporate them into each dinner. They are going to be eating plof today and I will have a detailed recipe for you in the description box of the video. So it is dinner time now. Everyone's eating and enjoying, hopefully. I had a quick question. I follow some YouTubers where they do what they eat in a day or what they feed their kids. And they always make these like gorgeous plates for their children with a dessert cup and 
a fruit and the vegetables and the actual meal. I feel like that would never work in my family with my kids. My kids would just devour the dessert first and not even touch the meal. I'm just curious how you guys do it at home. Do you guys present everything in one shot? Um, because if I would have done that, I don't think my kids would ever eat their meals. I'm just very, very curious how you guys do it. So let me know in the comments down below. The croutons are ready and this will probably be all gone by the end of today. My kids just love picking at it and um, eating it and it's just a nice way of you know using up some bread that you have left over without having it to spoil or throw it away. After dinner is done, the little ones change into their pajamas and play outside for a little bit. My husband usually gets home at around 7 and I caught him sneaking in some dessert before dinner. Between 7 and 8, my kids are usually asleep for the night. And if you want to see my kids' full nighttime routine, I will have it linked down below for you. After putting the kids down for the night, my husband and I eat our dinner. I then spend a few minutes cleaning up the kitchen, putting things away, and just tidying up the space. I load the dishwasher and wipe down the island. To make for a smooth morning, I prep everything that I can the night before. I prepare my water, my coffee, and even my lunch, and I put everything into the refrigerator so that I can just grab and go in the morning. The way that I think most of us do it is we have our laundry, we put it into our laundry basket, and we one by one take it out, start folding it, which creates tons and tons of piles, especially when you have a family of seven like we do. I have piles upon piles, and I get confused as to whose piles is whose. Um, so I have this amazing hack that I cannot wait to share with you and I'll take you along and show you how I do it. I do my laundry every single day just so that I can keep on top of it, but I definitely do not have the time to sit there and fold it every single day and put them away for sure every single day. So this is my method. Um, every single day I'll wash my clothes and I will take the time twice a week to sort them out by person. So I have a bed here, which is in, my, um, in the office that we don't really use. And I have a bed here, which is wide enough to be able to sort out all of our kids' clothes and our own as well. And I sort them out by my oldest to youngest. So I just literally take out each item of clothing, put them into that specific section. And if you ask why would I waste my time doing that, because when I take that specific child's clothes now, it's only that child's clothes. And the folding for that is so much quicker and the putting away for that is so much quicker instead of me having to figure out where does this item go, it goes in here, oh that's for the shirts and that's for the pants and that's for the underwear and the socks. It's all just in a single pile. So we're gonna do it together. I'm going to speed it along here for you and you'll see just how I do it all. So this is my oldest son, Yoshua's clothes. This is his pile, then my, his twin sister, then my other daughter, my other son, and then my baby. 
my babies, I already started to fold and I'm gonna be pushing all of these things back now so that I can deal with this big laundry load. So here it goes. I'm gonna be taking out this shorts. It goes in this section. And I'm gonna be doing that one by one and placing it in its perspective sections. And it's going to take me very quickly to fold everything and put it away. So this is now the setup. So I have five kids, Baruch Hashem. I have five sections here of the clothes that are laid out. Now I'm going to be going one by one, folding all of these so that I know this entire strip is this child's. This entire strip is this child. In the back, I have their underwear and their socks all lined up, underwear and socks. This way I have neat piles and I'm now going back and forth. Oh, this is this child, this is that child. It's already, I know, this is it and this is it. So when I have to place things away or I have to tell my kids, put your row of clothes away, they already know that this is their row and this is what they have to do and this is what they're in charge of. To me, this is a life-saving hack. I'm now going back and forth, uh, trying to figure out which kid is which. I, maybe it's a um, multiples problem, but it's just a lifesaver and I, absolutely love it and i'll take you along and show you how i fold everything i cannot put it away today because my kids are sleeping but i will do so in the morning After a few short minutes, I have all of these clothes folded and obviously this gets added every single time I do another load of laundry, but the method works. Uh, trust me, I <laughs> take it from me. I'm busy working mom with a lot of little kids with a lot of little clothes. Um, this is just such a time saver. You really, really have to try it. And if you do, please come back into the comments and let me know how much uh, you are enjoying this method because it has been life-changing for me. I did fold everyone's except for my nine-year-old twins. They are perfectly capable of folding their own laundry. All I do is just sort it out for them and they know that tomorrow when they come home from camp, they'll have a little bit of playtime and then before they go to bed, they do have to fold and put away their clothes and that is completely fine. That's actually a very popular question that I get on my channel and on my Instagram account. How do I know what kind of chores to give to my kids? what they're able to do, what is the right thing to give them. And I think that's very personal for each and every child. Every parent knows their child's capabilities and my nine-year-olds are perfectly capable of doing that. And that is one less thing for me to do. So try this out and let me know in the comments how you like it. One of the last things that I do before going to bed is making sure that my little one's clothes are prepared for the next day as well as for my own. So now that I've prepared all of the kids' bags and my bag is prepared and the lunches are all ready, this is a time where it's my time. I sit on my bed and I just edit my YouTube videos. Um, this is just the time where I just relax and enjoy and take my time editing. And then my night is basically done. I hope you guys all enjoy this look into a day in my life as a nurse, as a working mama as a youtuber and i hope you guys all enjoyed and got a look into a typical day in the life for me if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this